Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Today I'm going to talk about um, the last couple of postures in the standing sequence, the warrior one and the warrior two. Now these particular postures, while relatively basic and straightforward, as in the warrior one is a repeat posture from the Surya Namaskar B sequence, and the warrior two is actually a posture that wants to help us build strength without any flavor or frill, they're still really challenging postures, especially when we get into the meat of the body. So we enter into warrior one via a vinyasa from Utkatasana, from chair pose, and this is the posture in which we take the right leg first and then the left leg in warrior one, but then we stay on the left leg to enter into warrior two. So left leg on warrior two, then the right leg on warrior two. And then there's the exit strategy. Do I want to step back from warrior two to take vinyasa? Do I want to handstand my way back to take vinyasa? There's a couple of different ways to play with it. In the later stages of your practice, you might find it fun to try the handstand strategy. But regardless, let's enter from downward facing dog. So just getting into it. I'm actually going to flip around and go the other way. So we just did chair pose, we just took vinyasa, we ended in downward facing dog, and we immediately pivot the left heel to the floor, step the right foot forward, square the hips forward, and enter into Virabhadrasana A. One, two, three, four, five rounds of breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, turn, face the left leg. Diving in here, trying to square the hips over the left leg. One, two, three, four, five rounds of breath. Opening up immediately into warrior two. Now notice that my feet didn't really move. There is a thing in Ashtanga, as there always are things in Ashtanga, in which we try to maintain the stability of the posture without fidgeting too much. So we don't necessarily move the legs here. However, if you want to open up the distance between the legs, I say do it. So here we go. Warrior two over the left leg. One, two, three, four, five rounds of breath. We are engaging the legs here. We are dropping the shoulders. We're lifting the chest and drawing the belly in, gazing over that middle finger ahead of you. After five cycles of breath, we'll straighten that leg on your inhale, and exhale, pivot, face the right leg. So we're facing forward once again at the top edge of our mat, engaging the legs, engaging the core, relaxing the shoulders, and lifting the chest strong. One, two, three, four, five rounds of breath here, and we windmill the hands to the floor, and you can either step back or kick up and take a handstand to your chaturanga. We'll practice those in a different video. Here we go to your vinyasa, upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. And from here, we would hop forward immediately to a seat to enter into the primary series. So you can look forward and hop on through finding your seat. So thanks so much for being with me today, everyone. Please comment below. Let me know how it goes for you. Namaste.